Hi there, it's Toby, your EdTech mentor at West London College. And today I'm going to introduce you to something which is quite new and exciting. That's the Digital Teaching Professional Framework and uh, the EdTech modules that support this. Now, what is this all about and why do we have to do it? Well, the Digital Teaching Professional Framework is there to help you understand the whys and the hows of implementing education technology in our classes. It could well be that you already have some ideas. And so the, uh, the, the digital teaching professional framework is there to help consolidate the knowledge that you already have. You can follow modules which are literally bite-sized. We're talking three to four minutes in order to gain a little bit of knowledge, uh, attain badges, and demonstrate your uh, professional competency when it comes to education technology. So follow me, and I'll show you what happens when you get that email from us uh, encouraging you to join the uh, framework and get on with the uh, Edutech modules. So first of all, you will receive an email from West London College asking you to share your CPD achievements. Click on the email and tap on the blue link in the middle of the email. It's going to ask you to sign up. So click on the sign up button and add your details. And you can make up a password. Uh, try to keep it something that you can remember. And then tick on the box at the bottom. And then you can click on Start Learning, or you can go to the My Learning at the top of the page. So going to the My Learning at the top will take you to the same place, and uh, you can view your modules, and it will give you a selection of modules to look at. And I just wanted to show you how quickly you can go through one of these modules. So, for example, how to tread a positive digital footprint, quite important. So let's have a look at that module. Click on the launch button. And it will take a few minutes to uh, set up. And there's a short video to watch. And the video is literally it's two and a half to minutes. Help learners be aware that what they do online could either help. You can also choose to download the transcript and read it if you wish. And then you've got some questions to answer. And again, this is a simple exercise just to determine that you've watched the video. A lot of it is common sense, so it's quite easy to uh, respond to. You then submit the work and then hopefully I've identified all the negative and positive activities. Whew. Now, 
if you would like to reset the interaction, you can do so at the end of the module, which means basically if you want to go through the question again, you're more than free to do so. You can type in some notes in this box here. Um, if you think that, uh, for example, you know, reiterating the fact that the positive footprint is useful to your students, then you could put it there and then go through the summary. And a very short summary here, very quickly read. Once you've gone through the summary, if you look, you can see that the feedback button has changed. That means that you have completed the module and that's all you need to do. There's some uh, further resources if you wish to uh, go through and do some research of your own. But that's all you have to do. It says you've completed the module. Click on the feedback if you wish. And that will take you to the feedback and you can rate it. So you can rate the module. submit your feedback and that's all you have to do to complete a module there are a lot of them but the college has decided on a number of the most important and we will be sharing these with you for today as well for you to complete thank you for watching any questions please do get in touch with me t.doncaster at wlc.ac.uk